God is to be worshipped the way he tells us to. God doesn't leave it to us to determine how we're to worship him. That's why when you have these people who say, well, we can use images and icons in worship because after all, there were images in the temple. Well, number of problems here. But one big problem is, well, there was no image of God, first of all. Number The other thing is, none of these other things were objects of veneration through which they were praying. They weren't praying to the angels on, above the ark. They weren't praying through them. You know, None of that uh, was taking place. There's absolutely no indication of that. So no image of God at all. Number two, no act of veneration or praying to or through these images. Number three, they were limited to what the Lord himself prescribed. Moses couldn't have said, hey, I want to make an image of myself today, you know, or I want to make an image of Aaron. Right? None of that flies. Okay. So it was always by the Lord's prescription. Everything had to be done according to his prescription. No will worship, no inventing your own ways of worshiping God. To worship God means to worship him in spirit and in truth, meaning at least as far as what I'm saying in this Old Testament context, in the new, it means no longer according to the shadows. But in this Old Testament context, you worship him according to his commands, never according to your own you know, desires. That doesn't work well. Ask Nadab and Abihu, Leviticus 10, right? They were burnt up over it, right? They learned that God can't be worshipped any way, way we please.